Our next guest is an all about renaissance man. He's a writer, comedian, and a dad. We'd like to welcome James Johan to the show. James. Good morning. Good morning. Nice You're known you. as the as the rural genius. Why the rural genius? Well, we uh, my manager decided that uh, we don't want to just be another white guy in a hat doing <laughs> jokes. So we need some kind of a hook here. So I figured, uh, you know, I'm kind of a know-it-all, and I'm from a small town. I'm from Paola. And uh, he's like, well, you, you think you know everything, so you're a genius in your own mind. So, and world genius came. A lot of people get it wrong. They think I'm the world genius. The which world, is the world. But whatever, whatever sticks in their head. You know, it's easier than James Johan. So, <laughs> rural genius it is. So that's where it came from. Now you're local, didn't you? Didn't you go to the high school with some guy named Jason Sudeikis? I did. I went. There's a, we have a couple famous people. We got Jason Sudeikis, I believe, was on 90210. Jason, or, is that right? <laughs> I don't know. But uh, and then Paul Rudd, of course. Paul Rudd, who was on the cover of the Pitch this week or last week. But, he was, bless his heart. Yeah. So I remember those guys vaguely. I knew I knew Mandy Rudd a little better. I, like I knew who she. Paul Rudd, I would just see kind of be bopping down the hallway. So, but yeah, Sean Mission West. Now, what's it like doing the late night talk show circuit? Do you have a favorite, or is there anybody that you like or don't like? Well, um, I love Craig Ferguson. Ferguson's great. He gets really up in the camera. He's a lot of fun. He's just he's kind of weird. You know, I like that. And um, you know, I did a lot of stuff for country music television too. And, yeah. And that was really fun because that's that's kind of my core audience there, you know, and they're just, they're, they're real laid back, so, but late night shows are little, they're tense, you know, um, Craig Ferguson, he comes out, the comedian goes on last, so he comes out, he shakes your hand, and he goes golfing, he's not even in the room when you do it, so that's <laughs> nice, you know, it's like, hey, I'm having a good time with my crowd, so. That was fun. Now, being local, one of your riffs, I, I heard one of your routines. Um, mm -hmm. There was an incident, an incident. Do we want to talk about that at Oak Park Mall? Uh, there's circa? been several incidents at the mall. Circa uh, 1988? Well, I went to Catholic school, and uh, I should preface it by saying that. And um, I, one day, uh, I was stealing change out of the wishing fountain there at the Oak Park <laughs> Mall. I was just a kid. I wanted some money. So I stole all this change, and they caught me, and they called my school. So the next day I got to school and I got yelled at by the principal and a priest came in and yelled at me. He said I was stealing people's wishes out of there. So I just want to say while I'm on TV today, if you were at the Oak Park Mall in 1986 and you threw a quarter in the fountain and your dad didn't make it through an operation, I'm sorry, that was my fault. I stole your wish. I'm sorry about that. That's, so. that's his bad, his bad, his <laughs> bad. And it's hard to outrun security guards with parachute pants full of wet nickels. That's <laughs> tough. That's not easy. All right, so d you're in town for the holidays, obviously, performing yes. on Stanford. Are yeah. you excited to be home? Yeah, I love it. Uh, Stanford's is nice enough to let me work there this week, so I get to be nice. home with my daughter and everything. So it's good to... Good to uh, be in town. So. And speaking of your daughter, has fatherhood yes. changed too much? She's awesome, man. She's the best thing I've ever done. She's out there watching today. I just want to say hi to Olivia if you're out there. And uh, she's really cool, man. She, she called me before the show today. She's like, have a good show, Dad. And Aww. she said, well, guess where I'm at? And I said, where? She said, I'm under the kitchen table. And I'm like, awesome, you know? <laughs> I wake up there all the time. <laughs> but, uh, or as yeah. I call it, Thursday. Yeah, exactly. But um, it, she's become the hardest part of doing this job. Like, the travel and stuff gets to me a little bit. I still love performing, but being away from her, I was going to show you this before we go here. Yeah. Uh, it's a little something that, uh, this is little stuff like this that gets me by when I'm on the road. That's a picture of Olivia and Dad right there. Aww. Can you see? I know. I hope she likes it. I worked all morning on that. That's pretty cool. Here, I'll hold it. That's awesome. Here, <laughs> Olivia and Dad. That's, that's outstanding. Me and her right there. Oh. Now, I will say this much. You talk faster than any comedian I have ever interviewed. Well, I, I feel like I'm three jokes back. Seriously. I'm, I'm, I'm about nine pots of coffee you got in the green room over there. So <laughs> that's I'm, I'm all really, the... really jazzed up this morning. So. <laughs> and is, is a baseball cap your signature style? Is that, yeah. is that, do you feel naked without it? Yeah, with this haircut, it has to be. There's just no <laughs> getting around it. This is, a, this is bad up here. You don't want to see that. Do you have any uh, earth shattering resolutions for 20? 2013? No, but I've been living like the Mayans are right. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. So, um, no, um, I'm just looking forward to another good year. I think I do have another Craig Ferguson set coming up, so I'm looking forward to that. And uh, lots of travel, a lot of cruise ships. I've been doing some cruise ships lately. Those are fun. I did a big uh, cruise with Trace Atkins and all those country guys, Blake Shelton, all those nice. guys. Nice. So you you want to give away some tickets to see your show this weekend? Yes, we can give away Let's give away tickets. some tickets. Okay, if you want to see James live this weekend at Stanford's, you need to call right now for free tickets. The first 10 callers will get tickets for Friday or Saturday. Saturday night, call 913-400-7500. You want to say that with me? Call 913-400-7500. And yes. no heckling. Tonight. No heckling. Yes, shows are at 745 and 945 both nights. So pick up the phone. Again, that number, 913-400-7500. Thanks, my friend. Thanks for having That's me awesome. today. Thank you Let's very much. Let's check in with Michelle in the Weather Center.